Last Thursday night, she became the newly crowned Miss USA 2019. Please welcome the lovely Chesley Christ. Like that. Oh, would be nice, God. wouldn't it? Has it like, it, it, I mean, has it sunk in? It hasn't. Every day I wake up and I'm like, God, I ate so many sweets yesterday, I have to compete in swimsuit tomorrow. Right. And then I think, oh no, I won. <laughs> and so you've moved from North Carolina now here? Yes, just moved on Friday night. So it's kind of strange. I still don't have like pictures of like my mom and my family in my apartment yet, but we'll get them soon. Well, you can have a picture of us. We'll, we'll get it to you put in the apartment. <laughs> that would be a nice picture yeah. to have, yeah. You know, sure. you're going to love New York City because you are moving at the right time of year. Oh, yeah. This don't let it fool you. Yeah, I know, I know. I feel like I should get you a coat now. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I brought a few. That, yeah, well, that, and, like, I, I love visiting New York because there are so many great shops here. Yeah. Uh -huh. in, New York, in North Carolina, we don't have a Zara or a Topshop. And so every time I'm here, I'm like, God, I've got to get to Topshop and I, Zara oh my gosh. on my list. Yeah. I'm like, thinking, how do you survive without a Zara and Topshop? You have to shop online all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in addition to being crowned Miss USA, you're also a lawyer, right? Yes. And so what kind of law? Uh, so I do civil litigation. Oh, um, wow. And funny enough, my my stepdad, oh, we've got a picture up here. Yeah, that's my stepdad who's actually sponsoring me getting sworn in because he's also an attorney, which is really nice. Oh. And we've done a couple of pro bono cases together, which has been incredibly exciting. But that's yes, incredible. so full time attorney. Yeah. That's actually. Thank you. It's so um, that pro bono work is so important, isn't it? It is, yes, yes. And we've worked for some people who have gotten some excessive sentences and worked with people who have been sentenced to, um, our one client has been sentenced to life in prison for a nonviolent drug crime. Wow. And so we've worked a lot with him and with a few other clients, and that's really important work to us. Well, um, it's, it's, it's important work to everyone, so many people in this country. Yeah, sure. um, uh, now, you also are a, a superstar athlete. You ran <laughs> track and field, I right? I did, yes, um, in South Carolina. Go Gamecocks, I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I see some Gamecock fans in here. That makes me so That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was at Penn Relays. I got second place in the triple jump then. Your family's and athletic. You yes, come from a yes, family my of entire athletes. family is. My dad was a bodybuilder. Oh, um, my, my mom and my family run 5Ks together. We're that weird family that does 5Ks on Thanksgiving. <laughs> we've done that for a few no, years. Like in a row. Tur turkey yeah, trot? Yeah, like a turkey sir? trot. Yeah, yes. we've done that. We've done the Cooper River Bridge run in, in Charleston, South Carolina. Wow. No kidding. Um, one of my brothers is a D1 athlete at Coastal Carolina, Chandler. One of the, another one of my brothers was a D1 athlete at South Carolina, played soccer there while I was there, also played soccer at, um, in Australia professionally. So a ton of athletes. I mean, yeah, that's what a lot we of do. underachievers in there. Yeah, I was going to say that. I'm like fascinated by. We just by, sit around and do nothing all day. I'm yeah. fascinated by high achieving families. Oh, like, I really want to sit down and talk to your parents yeah. and say, like, okay, what's the thing? Like, right. what's the magic sauce? Yeah, right? yeah. Well, I mean, my mom is the person who really inspired me to compete in pageants. She was okay. Mrs. North Carolina 2002, oh, really? was the second black Mrs. North Carolina. And I remember being a little kid and watching her compete. It was always very important to me. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's one of those things that um, it never, we've, we've had so many Miss USAs here, so many Miss Americas here, and it never gets less exciting. It's like childbirth for me. It's like, it never gets less exciting. You walk out and you go, oh yes, you have that crackly thing, that thing that really like draws all the attention oh, to you. you. Have you have you had that like all of your life? Have oh. you always people have been drawn to you? I uh, know I can't say so. Like, well, when, when, I was the, little, when I was a little kid, I was like that little nerd. Like I loved Harry Potter. I like I wouldn't get in trouble for talking in class. I would get in trouble for like being in math class and like pulling out my Harry Potter book and reading in the middle of class. It was always me. Right. And I started competing in pageants and I think it changed my perspective of who I could be and made me more excited about who I was. Like I was excited about being the little weird nerd kid right. instead of being like the pageant girl. Right, and then now you've got this uh, great opportunity and exposure and the spotlight. Yeah. What do you want to do with the, the new sash and crown? Well, I love Dress for Success. It's an incredible international organization. That's a great organization, oh, by yeah. the way. Yeah. yeah, it matters a lot to me because I remember being a broke college student who couldn't find clothing to wear to a lot of the trial competitions that I would compete in right. when I was at Wake Forest. And so it was, import it was important to me to make sure that other women had the means to get the clothing that they need for important interviews. So I want to advocate for Dress for Success. And I also have a blog called White Collar Glam. Um, yeah, where I provide workwear, fashion, inspiration, and resources for women. So those two things kind That's of go hand you. in hand. And You're I really a do good. When she's not in court. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're getting ready to compete in Miss Universe.
Universe. Yes, also. yes, Miss Universe. Very soon. This is the year. You're it's gonna so take great it. to You're meet you. Great to meet you. Thanks for being here. Chess and Chris, everybody.